Hey. What's up, y'all? It's uh, episode 50, season finale. Uh, yeah, so before, a while back, the arcade game came out, but I didn't have no points on, on, on me. There's no money in the pocket. So I finally got it. It's called Hydrophobia. It plays this uh, lady. She's like an engineer. She's on this big boat and terrorist attack. You gotta you gotta swim and wade your way through, and the big advertisement for hydrophobia is oh crazy real life water. I gotta admit the water is pretty good. It'll like break through yeah. glass, hit the wall, slam back. You know it's very disorientating when you're under the water and stuff. Now the beginning of the game is a little tedious, but the best way I could describe this to you is a like Tomb Raider platforming game. There's a lot of like L tier esque climbing on stuff, Laura Croft climbing on stuff. You get a gun, different ammo for it, regular ammo, obviously like I'm going to kill you with regular ammo. There's like the sonic blast which knocks dudes out and can break glass and blow up uh um oil drums and stuff. Cuz you know this game is super super uh you know innovating. First game to ever have exploding oil, exploding, you know, oil drums or anything like that. So it's awesome. The lie. Yeah. <laughs> Um, most of the time, that's what I use. It's like guys will be, you know, in cover. I'll be in cover, and they like pop out and like boom, blow that up, kick their butt. Another thing I like doing though is just getting a little bit of water in the room, and then shooting them, and they fall over, and they're just laying there, and then they drown. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, but later you get like uh, ammo that can stick to guys and has a little counter on it and blows up. So that's always fun to like knock a guy over with the sonic blast, and then you know, shoot him, and then eight seconds later, you're like, oh, good job, I'm gonna kill you, and he starts standing up, and he blows up, it's pretty funny. Yeah. You can use that to blow up walls and stuff. And I think that helps the game out with all the different, like, types of ammos and everything. Cause yeah. If you, didn't, if you didn't have that, it'd probably get old fast, but there's enough variety with that. It oh, you, you, yeah, you, you can mix it up and stuff. Yeah. Um. The other thing, too, is like, oh, there's a, there's a... You know, a glass window. What well, oh, looks like there's objects floating behind there. I can use tons of water. I've waited till guys like ran in front of that, shoot it, and the water hits them and launches them off like a catwalk or something. Um, you can also sometimes, depending upon where they are, there's like uh, cords up in the air. You can shoot them. They fall into the water, electrocute everybody. It's pretty sweet. There's a lot of like different things you can do with the environment and with your ammo. Yeah. In, in combination. Um. The other cool thing is there's a lot of collectible stuff, a lot of documents to find. I like finding little things like that, finding out about the world. Now, the the big thing that makes this game really different is it's called, like, the, the Mavi, I think. It's this little, like, computer that she can, like, p open up, and she can, like, look through walls with it and stuff. She uses that to find, like, secret decoded encryptions that the terrorists have, have painted on the walls in, like, invisible ink. Once you find that, you can, like, access doorways. You can also hack into cameras with that and then switch cameras. And basically, like, if you switch to another room, there'll be, like, a bunch of guards. You move your camera around, and you're like, uh, oh, there's a door I can access. You can open it via the camera, and then that lets, like, water rushing in or, you know, whatever. And then that kills the guys or at least hurts them enough that now you can go in and there's only two guys instead of four. So it's kind of like a preemptive, I'm going to plan ahead before I go in there type thing. Plus, always... There's the constant, oh, the ship is sinking. I got to get down here. Oh, the water's rising, and you got to get to these two pumps, or you're going to die. And you got your little meter, and then you got to find a little pocket of air. Oh, God, you got to swim back down. It's fire above you. It's like it nails movies I've seen where, like, ships are going down and yeah. stuff. So. You really do feel like you are in a sinking ship and everything. Plus, there's a decent story, and... Again, when you go on, like, Xbox Live Arcade and stuff, you get a lot of puzzle games, little, little you know, tinkery games. This is, like, an actual story. They're swearing in it. It's rated M for Mature. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's a very well done game for an arcade game, you know. And I think this week right now it's half off. I think it's 800 points instead of 1,200, which was sad for me because I got it last week. But not, meh. That's not half off, but that's okay. It's... Well, whatever. It's 800 points for that. Yeah, it's less. There's a bunch of water it's games. It's a discount. You know? A bunch of water games that are discounted. Yeah. The thing says it's half off. They're lying. Or was it originally 1600 Maybe it was 1600 originally. I don't remember. Anyway, right now it's at 800 Well, since we're throwing numbers around, we're giving it a 5 out of 5 because it's a really, really <laughs> yeah. sweet, cool yeah. arcade game. The only problems I've had so far is sometimes when I'm swimming to the top of like the 
the water's edge and there's a staircase she'll hit the staircase and all <laughs> hop around and she's all in and then she's like oh let me wait wait but sorry let me get up here i'm up now so other kinda, than that there's not other than that it's, bugs. it's sweet you know facial animations could be better but again arcade game good voice actors yeah i'm just surprised you know. at how cool it is for an arcade game yeah you know how much is going on in it so, uh, yeah, next week you're not going to have an actual episode, but you will have uh, two trailers, and uh, one of them is going to be hard to find because it's going to be on a channel, and the true fans I know are, are uh, they'll, they'll subscribed know. to it. So, Yeah. And then uh, Hired Guns, Hired Gun 6 also after this episode sometime right. this week. But then uh, the first episode will probably be Spare Parts in an arcade game. And then, I don't know. We'll probably be getting some good games like Bullet Storm in February and everything. So word up, it's gonna be good. Uh, we got here's a subscriber we never see, so this is sweet. Good, good way to end it. Hopefully you're watching. Parade of Insane by Mangaman zero five seven. So use this week, guys. In this episode, put in all your stuff for uh, the hat for for, for the, the for the box. The box. Al still still thinks we got a hat, but John yeah, Luke's I, got that. Yeah, I miss I miss the hat. Too bad. It's in Oh, watch the behind the scenes.